What's up guys, another void here with more World of Tanks for you, otherwise known as Stuff, and we're just going to be talking about Stuff and playing tanks and stuff. So, I got this on this like 1940s Cinefilm, this is actually the first time I played this thing in like forever, but this 1940s Cinefilm, 1940s, 40s Cinefilm is kind of cool, so we're going to try that this time, uh, just screwing around with some of the graphics here. I got it on medium because, you know, when you have fraps running you need it on medium. So, I'm just going to hop in some tanks and drive around and shoot stuff. I'm going to try to use stuff that doesn't take a lot of skill because I haven't played this in a while. So, I don't know. This tank should be good. This is a pretty easy tank to run. I don't even know what I was doing with these tanks. Um, but, that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to just check stuff out and get back into tanks. I'm taking like a month off of tanks. That's not what I wanted. Where's the freaking tech tree on this stupid thing? Here we go. Ah, oh, I'm just working up to the big gun. Okay, and tracks, I guess, which I think I probably need first, actually. Let's see, two, whatever, and this weighs 1.2, and how much space do I have left? Ah, I could upgrade to the biggest gun. Okay, so let's play this sucker. I don't know, that doesn't seem like a lot of fun, though. Maybe we should play the tiger. The tiger kicks a lot of ass, I love that tank. Alright, let's play this guy. There we go. Wow, those graphics are... Well, I mean, the tanks look cooler. This is all scratched up and stuff. I need a new video card. That's what I need. All right, let's get into battle here. So, um, kind of the reason I wanted to record this is because I have not been able to record in two or three weeks. My life is kind of spinning. It's just getting pretty crazy. Um, I got a lot of new stuff going on. Uh, got a couple new hobbies and... Just everything's gonna kind of going nuts right now, so I'm just gonna try to record when I can. Um, I've been working on Dungecraft stuff a lot. I just because it's like the first or second episode, there's a lot of work to do before I can record. Um, but I'm getting pretty close. I'm actually just working on like this, this structure I want to I want to build for the next episode where I'm gonna do magic crops. So that's gonna be pretty cool. And then I'm gonna finish up my. Uh, do I have any sound? I feel like I'm not hearing any sound here. Well, that's about right. I think 5 is what I used to have it at. It seems kind of low. Let's move it to 20 or so. There we go. Alright. So, just a lot of stuff going on. and um, But I want to try to get back into recording. I'm just going to record stuff. I don't even give a crap anymore. I don't know how much tanks I'll be doing. I want to do subscriber replays again. And it locked up. Great. I want to do subscriber replays again. I'm not sure about uh, playing War Thunder tanks. I'm not really sure if I'm going to get into that or not. I probably should. But I'm really not looking, like I was saying, back to getting into a lot of FPS stuff. I don't know. We'll see. But it it is what it is at this point. Well, I'm getting a lot of frame lag or something. Really need more. Um, really need to upgrade my video card here. So I'm kind of a sitting duck right here. They do have an arty. Let's pop this guy. We need to pop this guy. Yeah. And that's because... These guys won't push up and help you. Come on. Yeah, I, I can't do this by myself, so I'm just going to have to pull back. Let's see if I can... Critical hit. Well, at least the armor's holding up a little bit. Oh, yeah. See, he's just sitting behind that rock. It's just kind of perfect. All right, I got to back up. These guys aren't pushing up enough. Let's just let us just let them have it. If you're not going to be aggressive right here, forget it. They already have positions behind rocks, so you have to push up or it's not going to work. So I'm not going to just sit out there until I die. That's stupid. Yeah, we're getting rocked. We're probably going to lose this. I mean, look at uh, C8 and 9. We're dead. Well, we do have a lot of dudes over there. But... It's better to push, you know, you got to have people that are going to push up in that kind of situation. And there was no way I could do that all by myself. And you know me, I don't believe in just sitting and waiting for the enemy to come to you. That's a boring game. That is not tanks to me. Tanks are supposed to be aggressive, not just sitting around waiting. That's not what they were. Nice, not in the war they weren't that. I mean, yeah, in all situations they weren't attacking, but still, I mean, that's to me that's boring. 
that kind of defensive play all the time. It's just kind of, nah, no thanks. Where are these guys? Alright, let's just do this. We're gonna get shot in the back right here. We need to get out of here. See the guy up on the ridge? Yeah, this is not good. There we go. He's just about dead. And I think I'm hidden here. And no dice. Oh, this is bad. This could be really bad. Yeah, let me go behind this guy. I'm getting jacked. I don't care. What are, what are you going to do, right? <laughs> this is all I can do right now. Screw these guys up a little bit. And probably get surrounded. Here, let's try to get a cupola shot on this guy. Yeah, see? But you gotta push. You gotta give these guys room to maneuver and stuff. You know, you can't just let everybody sit behind buildings all day. Because that's gonna get you killed. You know, you can't just let these guys have all the position they want. Now get in there! <laughs> I'm giving you all this space! Get in there! Yep. This is not looking good. Yeah, there you go. Well, good game. Let's get back to something else. Again, I really believe in aggressive stance in this game. I don't think... If you have a bunch of aggressive people, you can dominate people. You just have to... Don't just sit there, you know? Don't get in a comfortable spot. That's... I. And, and you know, a lot of Unicum say, no, that's not how you do it, because they all wait for everybody else to die, then they go out with a full tank. And, and to me, that's just letting your team down. That The reason your team died and so that you get to come out now Rambo style it is because maybe because you weren't up there with them. Maybe that extra gun could have pushed that, that whole line and killed everybody. You know, you got to watch your buddies and see what they're doing and try to help them. I don't know what the hell that is, Artie. Cool. So, um, yeah, I think Dunchcraft Season or season 2. Episode 2 is coming out pretty soon. Season 5, season five Episode 2. And then... Uh, probably some subscriber replays and some other stuff like that and then also I think I got a game from a developer that they want me to do um, some kind of review on or something and I think I'm gonna change my review style a little I know a lot of people don't like when I compare games to other games to me that actually makes a lot of sense because people people have played these other games I'm talking about most of the time like I compare stuff to World of Warcraft the reason I do that is because a lot of people play that game or have played that game um, and so if a mechanic is almost exactly the same, why wouldn't I say this is like World of Warcraft? Um, the quest hub system in most of these newer MMOs is directly just like World of Warcraft. So if you know what that's like, and if you know if you like it or not, because you've played it before, then you have a better understanding of what this new game has to offer. Um, I don't like when people say, and, and you see a lot of critics do it too, stop saying games are like other games. Of course they are, especially the new MMOs. Of course there are a lot of features in the new MMOs that are just like straight off of World of Warcraft, you know? And not that World of Warcraft made them up or created them in, in most cases or anything, but they are like World of Warcraft. So why you would not compare a game to another game and say it's like it is beyond me. Uh, just because it's 10% different doesn't mean it's completely different. It's 10% different, which is really not a lot if you think about it. So, I think comparing things to things that I know and have done before is a good thing. That, you know, gives me a lot of uh, information on what that game is going to be like, you know, if I'm going to like it or not. So, to me, that's important. I, I like comparisons to other things I've already done before. Um, I think people say that so that people will just come into it um, with, with no ideas of what they're going to get into. And then all, this, oh, all of a sudden they're going to love it because it's something they've quote-unquote never done before, which is just not true. Um, if, if it has a similar feel to a game they've already played, they're, it's not going to make them all of a sudden feel like, oh my god, this is a brand new feature, you know? Uh, so again, I think comparisons to other games are good. But that's because, again, oh, see, I'm going to help this guy make a move. See him making a move? Now, I could get caught on the left over here if someone pokes up, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be okay. I got to hurry up. Got to hurry Gotta flank these guys. Looking for a shot here. That's why I got my cursor over them. I don't think I'm gonna have one. Looks like they're fine anyway. Looks like they're gonna be okay. But it's a lot of it is because the guy made a move. If you saw the map, the reason that went down the way it did is because the guy made a move. So 
Yeah, I can't help those guys now. Ooh, here we go. Let's get up here and see if I can do some damage. Now, the problem with this position is it's going to be easy to spot me. Luckily, there's kind of some hills right here. So, we'll see what I, we can get, but I'm really taking a huge risk right here. Yeah, this, this is huge risk. Right now, I'm totally open. And they have a huge arty, so let me get behind this hill over here. Not sure I'm going to be able to get shots over there. Those guys are hidden pretty good. This guy's not. So here's a good shot for me. And it's a flank shot. Let's see if I can take out his track at the same time. There we go. So that helps us a lot. The guy's tracked. Takes off a huge chunk of his armor. Or damage. Life. Whatever. And critical hit. That's okay. In the track, it's going to keep him there. My buddies can take him out. I don't need to kill. I don't care about kills. There we go. I'll get the kill if I can, but I mean, I don't care about him. So now I'm going to help these guys out with my big gun. I think we got this one. I, I'm feeling pretty good about this one. There we go. Let's see if I can nail this guy. There we go. Big damage. That's what I love about the fur. The gun is just gigantic. You can help people out a lot. It scares the crap out of people, too, when they get hit by this thing. Ferd's a fun tank. It's just really dog slow when you first get it. I mean, it's horrible. I'm surprised I don't have Binox on this thing. I guess I have him on the Tiger. Spot him and I can nail him for you. I mean, he's dumb if he's not hiding behind the hill over here. There he is. Alright. Nope, he's gonna hide. That's a good idea. Oh! Oh! Oh, shot behind him. Let's see if I can get maybe this guy. Oh, yeah, you're dead. Well, maybe I should help these guys. Yeah, he's not going to do anything to me. So this guy, yeah, he's dead. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go right here. I know there's a guy up here. Should have kept on him. Where is he? Oh, he's like right there. Pretty sure I just nailed him. Because I'm pretty sure he was behind this bush right here. So this one's in the bag. Just kind of sitting around waiting for people to be spotted. I probably should push up through the marsh, but nah. Alright, let's see if I can get... Alright, it's time to push up. Um, I think I can push through here. Yeah, I should be able to. Alright, good. Now let's come up behind this T20. And what do we got way over there? Object something. 413, I think. Anyway, really good game here. And uh, it's good that I took a big break, that I was kind of forced to not record. That was kind of a... Ooh, do I get a lot? No, no shots on the RD. Uh, because it took me away from games and let me recuperate a little bit. Uh, lots of stuff going on right now, so... You know, I needed the break a little bit. But also, I think I'm going to get in some new games. I really would like to get into, do a, like a Let's Play on the MMORPG. Um, just kind of run through all the quests. And I was thinking, you know how I do the uh, strategy series and I have them all uh, kind of bookmarked? I have that like index that you can click on and go to any tank. Uh, it would be fun to do that with, uh, wow, that guy got nailed. It would be super fun to do that with like quests from an um, MMO or something like that. That would be really fun. And I could definitely do that. Oh, man, he's going to get rocked. I doubt it. I have a feeling that the T20 is going to get rocked. Well, if not by him, by me. Um, but that would be kind of cool. You know, it wouldn't just be a let's play. It could be like... There, yeah, he's dead. It could be... Oh, oh, oh. 416. That's what it is. Um, but it could be a cool little reference for, like, doing quests and how to do them and stuff. Oh, that sucks. Let's chase this guy down. I don't think I'm going to get a shot on him, because I'm pretty slow. Maybe slower, than, or faster than that guy, maybe. I think this guy's a medium, though. He's got a little bit more turning potential than I do. Traverse. But this should do it. Nope. Yeah, he's dead. So, good game. There we go. So, okay, win one, lose one. That's kind of how it works. Um, I'm going to come back to record some more, but for now, this will be it. 
And, well, I mean, it's the video's not over. Um, I just have to go check on some stuff. Actually, this could be a good ending of this video. Just saying, you know, things that are coming up, things I want to do. Um, let me know in the comments section what you think. I know I've been gone for a long time. Uh, it was really just unintentional. But now I'm back. I can do videos and stuff again. And, again, I want to try some new things, I think. Uh, I really do want to get into reviewing new games. I think it's fun. I just need a better re uh, review format. Um, I don't know. And I need to take a little bit more time, especially when doing MMOs. Although, I'm fine with just reviewing the first 10 levels. I mean, all I want to do is show you a lot of the mechanics and stuff. I don't need to know all the mechanics. Um, I really just want to look at the game. It's, a lot of those are first impressions. They're not meant to be the entire game. Uh, when I do beta stuff, it's first impressions. I don't have time to complete the whole game usually before I do a review. Anyway, so let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya. Or wait, wait, wait. Isn't it Stay Frosty? Yeah, Stay Frosty.